Today we are starting with vital signs. I have knocked on my patient's room. They've allowed me to enter. I am washing my hands. I am introducing myself and explaining what we will be doing today. Oh, hi. Hi. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? My name is Bob Caffrey. My date of birth is January 26, 1962. Okay. I am checking the armband to make sure that it matches what he's saying. I'm also checking my order to make sure that that matches the patient that I have. First, we are going to start by taking your temperature. Have you had anything to eat or drink in the last 30 minutes? No, I haven't. And have you smoked anything? No. Okay. I'm going to put a sheath on here. I'll have you open your mouth. I'm putting this in between your teeth and the back underneath your tongue and we'll wait until it beeps. Remember not to bite down on it. We are going to dispose of this in the trash can and I will write down my findings so I remember them. Next I'll be taking your pulse. I'm going to use my two fingers of my non-dominant hand to find the hollow right underneath the thumb. You can either have them relax their hand on their side or hold their hand up on their chest to find that pulse. First, assess if the pulse is regular, so if it has a steady beat. If it is regular, you can count for 30 seconds. If it is irregular, count for a full 60 seconds. Yeah. Okay, and while I have him in this position, I'm not going to tell him that I'm counting his respirations, but I'm going to shift my gaze from his wrist to his chest so that I can count his respirations for 30 seconds if they're irregular and 60 seconds if they're irregular. Good. And I'm making note of those findings. Next, I will check his blood pressure. I'm going to ask if there's any reason we can't use either arm um, does he have any IV sites that would be in the way? Has he had any surgeries that would preclude us from using it uh, for women or men? If they've had a mastectomy with node removal, we want to avoid that site. So think about which side would be appropriate for your patient. You want to roll up the sleeve. It's best not to have any fabric underneath the site and you line up the artery marker right here on the inside of that AC. Make sure it fits snugly, and that should be right in the middle, at least two centimeters above the AC area, and you can relax your arm. First, I'm going to find the brachial artery. And then I will pump up my cuff by turning the knob to the right and squeezing up by tens until you lose your pulse. Okay. And then we'll let it go. Let the arm rest for about a minute. Then using my stethoscope, I will put the bell right on the brachial artery. And then I'm going to pop up my cuff at least 20 millimeters of mercury higher than where I lost my pulse. And I'll start there. I'm going to slowly let it go down until I hear that first beat. That is my systolic. And continue to slowly release it until you no longer hear that beat and that is your diastolic and then let it all the way deflate and take note of those numbers.
And how are you feeling, Bob? I'm feeling fine. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I will wash my hands, I will document my findings, and if there's anything of note that I would need to uh, let the nurse know or the doctor, I'll go ahead and do that. Wash my hands and leave the room. Thank you.